Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 1. Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game. In the last episode, we acquired Ian. We also made our way to Shady Sands. And uh, now we're basically looking for two things. We need to go to Vault 15 for the main quest, but also we need to inquire about uh, some rad scorpions with Seth. And we have not seen Seth yet, so let's see if we can't find him. Uh, we see one of Shady Sands' guards... Okay, welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Why not? Look, Shady Sands just don't need your kind from the hub. Wait, look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub or junk town, wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. Okay, you got it all wrong. I'm not like that. Wait, the last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deeds. You got it wrong. I'm not like that. Well, maybe you aren't. You seem a little different to me. I'll tell you what. You should go talk to Aradesh. He's in the center of town. I already did, man. You don't even know what's going on in your town. Okay, who do we have here? Another guard. Let's see if he has anything different. Uh, uh, thanks, bye. Not so fast. This is a small community. We don't see strangers often. We don't really need them. If you get my, my, my meaning, if you don't have a good reason to be here, you better just keep moving. Hey, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. I was just saying that... I wasn't saying that you was gonna. You just better leave us alone. Oh, wow. We could say this. I'm sick and tired of your trash. Prepare to meet your maker. Yeah, let's not do that. I'll try to not make trouble. Okay, dude, calm down. What, is this another guard? Alright, it's just another guard. They're all going to say the same things. The thing that I got wrong was there's actually another part to Shady Sands. And I did this on stream too and I totally forgot. So if we go over here, there's a whole other section. Uh, which is where we will find Seth and also the bookcase that I actually wanted. You can see we've already got a ton of good items from bookcases. So let's make sure that we don't miss any. Um, let's see, who do we have in here? What's your name? Okay, we're going to have to like get in a better position here. Uh, okay, I think most of the people that just walk around are peasants. They're just normal people. Yeah, peasant, and then who is this? A citizen of Shady Sands. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. What's the deal with this place? Okay, he's saying the same thing. Okay, we're still looking for Seth. Okay, let's move around here and see if we can. Ah, yes, there's a bookshelf. All right, come on over here. Okay, go ahead and search this. Rope? Aha, that's what we were looking for, the rope. There we go. We also got another one of these uh, little manuals. Yeah, so far, we, we seem to be able to have an unlimited amount of space. So, very nice. I think there was one man in here that we didn't talk to, um, but I don't think Seth's out here. All right, so let's see if we can't find Seth by hovering over these people. Maybe one of them is standing still. A citizen of Shady Sands. I don't know if it would call him a citizen of Shady Sands or someone else. Okay, what else do we have around here? We have a Brahmin pit. We've got a farm. Let's, uh, let's go down to this house. Maybe this is where Seth is, hopefully. Want to walk Austin, or you just want to lollygag? No lollygagging. Come on now. Okay, and we'll, we'll mess with Ethan, or Ian, a little bit later, too, and see if he's got anything interesting. Really? Nothing in this house at all, huh? What is that right there? Is that another rope, actually? Can we see that? Let's move over here. Can we see this? No. Okay, well, I think that's it for Shady Sands, and it looks like if we go too high, uh, your character won't walk. Alright, so Seth must be one of these people, I would imagine. Maybe he's back in that house. Alright, so let's see. Let's try talking to this lady. Uh, okay, she's saying the same stuff. Let's try talking to this guy. Same stuff. Okay. I would imagine he's going to look a little bit different. He's going to look like a different... Uh, Pixel, basically. All right, he must be in this house, in this big house. But I swear, we talked to everybody of interest, pretty much. Okay, let's go back in the house one more time. Let's see if we can't find Seth. Okay, Seth, where are you at, man? I know there's someone in here. Yeah, you right there. Don't bother me. Well, screw you too, man. All right, guys, well, we need to find Seth, and I'm not sure where he is, so... Go ahead and, and let me let me take some time to figure out where this dude is, because I have no clue. Okay, well, for some reason, I totally blanked on this. Seth is actually the first guy we even talked to. The guy at the start, which I guess I should have paid more attention to his name. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well. Seth should be right over here. So, let's head on over and talk to Seth, leader of the guards of Shady Sands. What can I do for you? I want to know more about the rad scorpions. These damn rad scorpions have been after our bra- Oh, yeah, so he can just take us to the caves. Right. 
Nothing else, thanks. Okay, so we could have done that from the start. Oh man, I don't know why my brain just didn't wrap myself, wrap itself around that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. I don't know how lucky we'll be. Actually, let's cancel this. I don't know how successful we'll be with our first sort of real combat, uh, but let's talk to Ian. Let's see, what can we say to Ian? You can leave now. Can you give me directions to the hub in Junktown? Let's do that one. The hub is a big trading center for south, far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, the crimson caravan, hey, and the Fargo traders. Stop automatically doing this. Junktown is a little south and ways west. It's smaller, but that's but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Well, that sounds like an interesting fellow. Uh, draw your best weapon next time we go into battle. That seems logical. Sure thing. Okay. Um, I need to change formation. Don't know what that means. What weapons are you skilled with? I'm good. At sh I'm a good shot with just about any sort of pistol, and I can use a submachine gun too. I also know how to handle a knife. All right, Ian. Uh, well, nothing more than that. I guess we can't really interact with him too much. I don't know what change formation means. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game here. I think there's a quick save. Um, which we will try by pressing F5. Oh, well, that just brings up the save menu. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to the Rad Scorpion Caves. Take me to the Rad Scorpion Caves. Are you sure you want me to give you directions to the Rad Scorpion Caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Yes. Oh, and he puts us in here automatically. Okay, well, I'm not sure if we should be here just yet. I don't know if this is going to be too hard for us or what. The cave mouth beckons you deeper into the lair of the rad scorpions. But obviously, this is our first quest. And uh, after this point, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I have not done any of this. Uh, this is blind. I did stream basically up to getting Ian, and that was it. So continuing forward, uh, that pretty much loses all of the tips that I have are, are gone. We're, we're caught up. This, going forward, I am completely blind here. I do have some um, perks that I know I shouldn't get. I have some perks that I should get. And I have a little tip for Vault 15. But after that, I don't want to do any research. I want it all to be blind and interesting. So, here we go. Let's jump into Fallout 1. Uh, we have a corpse on the ground. First off, you see the bones of a large two-headed cow. Uh, what is this over here? What is that? I can use some inventory items on it. Okay. Well, down over here to the right, we've got some rad scorpions right here. Uh, let's take a look at this cave. I think we can see the whole entire thing. There's a rad scorpion here. You see rad scorpion. Yeah, let's talk to him. <laughs> and what is this? We got a couple more rad scorpions. These things look menacing as heck. And you see bones. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what our goal is. I know we're trying to find, like, a cure for the poison. Um, I know... Let's see. Well, I guess we should... You see a cave wall. Well, that's interesting. You see stalagmite. Wow, we can sort of interact with everything. Okay, I think we should go ahead and try and take down these. Oh, 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 oh. I am actually not equipped, I just realized. Let's change that up. Uh, we have a bunch of stim packs. No armor, though. Okay, let's equip um, a pistol here. We might have to give a pistol to uh, Ian, too. Let's see if we can do that as well. And then the knife... What else do we have? We Oh, wait. We do have a shotgun, don't we? Let's see. What does this do? Um, how do I look at... Shotgun. Damage 12 to 22. Yeah, let's let's try that. Okay, good. And then, uh, as for Ian... Barter? I don't know if that matters. Um, nothing. Never mind. Let's actually... Can I do anything else with you? Can I... Stand still, please. Um... Yeah, that's just our items, too. Okay, let's talk to Ethan. Or Ian! Why do I keep calling him Ethan? Um, okay, yeah, we can't see to give him... We can't seem to give him anything. We, 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 it seems like we cannot seem to... Oh, my God. I am having so much trouble talking these past two episodes, episodes, and I have no idea why. Holy crap. Okay, okay, come on. Blah, 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 blah. We can't seem to give him anything. That makes sense, right? All right, good. Nothing. Never mind. Now, let's go kill some rad scorpions. No, I want I want the No, 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 no. No, not that. No, exit exit this. End turn. Okay, how do I it was B, right? Yes, there we go. Alright, good. Now. Let's not talk to the rad scorpion. How do I attack him if I'm not in combat? No, don't Don't talk to him! Okay, well he missed, at least. 
We have a 95% chance to hit. That's really good. Let's see how much damage we do with our shotgun. Rad Scorpion was hit for 17 hit points. And I guess there's no way to tell how much health he has. You need five action points. Okay, well, what happens if we switch weapons? It should take some action points. So let's end the turn. And now Ian attacks. Wow. Wow. We did it. We killed it. I can't believe that happened. I'm honestly, I'm honestly surprised. For destroying your enemies without taking a scratch, you earn 110 experience points. Very nice. We just reloaded there. I'm not sure if that matters either. Um, let's go ahead and loot this rad scorpion, see what he has. Looks like a rad scorpion tail. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and kill this one. Um, can I? It seems to be like there's no way to. I'm sure there's a way to enter combat. Um, right off the bat. What, what do these buttons do? What is that? Oh, that's switching weapons. Okay. What does this do? It's my skill dex. Okay. Um, I don't... Let's see. Yeah, I know I can see the rad scorpion, but it doesn't give me an option to attack it. So I guess we just have to sort of get close. Yeah, we have like unlimited... Di Are these like just passive maybe? No way. What What's going on here? Okay, well, there we go. We're hit for four points. Okay, you, you were hit for four points, you've been poisoned, you've been hit for four more points, and we've been poisoned again. Well, that's not good, but perhaps we can kill this thing before it kills us. Okay, Rad Scorpion was hit for 16 points. Yeah, I know I need five action points. Okay, so I need to wait my turn. Then Ian will shoot it. Nice job, Ian! Yet again. Um, okay. You are victorious in combat, you earn 110 experience points. Okay, cool. Like I said, guys, this is going to be slow going for the first probably five to six to seven episodes. I, I just need to get the hang of combat and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we are poisoned, but we have a bunch of stim packs. Now, let's search the Rad Scorpion and get his tail. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing in here. I'm not sure. A large pile of bleached animal bones. At least you think the bones are animal. Okay, yeah, we already have seen that from the other cave with the rats. Okay, I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing in here. Maybe just clearing them all out? That that would make sense, right? If we clear out every single one, um, the people of Shady Sand should be good to go. Should we use a stim pack? I'm going to go ahead and save the game here. That's the other thing that we have to remember to do is constantly save the game in case we make a mistake. Okay, game is saved. Let's go attack this guy. I, I, I wish... I really wish I knew how to, like, engage without getting so close to them, you know? But oh well. Out of ammo! That is not good. Um, let's see. Can we switch this out for the pistol? It's probably going to take some AP, but that's okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, how much damage do we do? Ooh! Wow! Okay! Yeah! said we critically hit up there somewhere can we can we see this yeah rad scorpion was critically hit for 14 points striking through the tough carapace without pausing and then we hit him for eight and for seven and we get another 110 i think it says 110 experience sweet all right this is going much much better than i thought it would you cannot pick that up you are at your maximum weight capacity well son of a bitch there we go Okay, so we should probably get rid of some stuff. What do we have that we want to get rid of? Can we use this? What is this? What's the point of this? Scout handbook. Okay, I can't seem to use it. Uh, rocks. Let's let's drop the rocks. How do I drop you? I guess we need to be outside of this inventory. Okay, let's look at our inventory. Okay, maybe now it will let us use the scout handbook. I'm not sure what these handbooks are for. Boom. I know what I see. Okay, how about if we use it? It's a rock. The granite ink model is an upgraded version. Minimum strength one. Oh, I guess it's a weapon. Okay, it's a melee weapon. Uh, you learn a lot about wilderness survival. Okay, cool. I'm going to use it again. Now, I'm not sure if the carry weight is determined by... Actually, do we have a carry weight here? No, how much HP are we at? 20? So first of all, let's go ahead and use one stim pack. So we can use it like this. You gained 11 current hit points. Okay, so we're back to full health. 
total weight 154 so it looks like it's the same it does weigh things based on their value um, which means let's drop these rocks what does this do move items all done and that should drop it that did we didn't gain much weight um, from that okay cool let's go ahead and grab the tail now I don't know if we need the tails but that's why I'm taking them take the tail cool all right there we go all right, moving right along, uh, I think we should go near the edges of these caves just to see if there's uh, anything. But it says in our little chat thing over there that there's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, what is this? Some more bones. Okay, yeah, I would assume the quest here is to kill these rad scorpions. And we've got one, two, three left. Hopefully we have enough ammo. Uh, man, how do I... I think there's a way to like enter combat mode, but I'm forgetting. Yeah, there has to be, right? I just wish it was like, hold this and then attack. Why isn't it like that? Let's see. Do I have... Do I have a note here? To attack, right-click for cursor, hover over enemy, and left-click to attack. Okay, right-click for, for cursor. Hover over enemy, left-click to attack. Okay, so that's how we do it. I guess. I don't know. It, it looks like, yeah, we just have to get close enough for to engage combat. Okay. I think we missed there. We missed, yes. We need five action points. So, okay, so the other tip, like I said before, is to run away um, with your remaining AP. Okay, nice job, Ian. Wow, so this is why Ian's incredibly powerful, and this is why everybody was saying to pick up Ian. Okay, we missed again. So let's, again, run away. I don't know if Ian can die. I'm assuming this game is hyper-realistic, so he probably can. Uh, he got him. Nice job, Ian. Gosh, dude. You were awesome. You were so good, Ian. Okay, we're still in combat, it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and, and kill this one. Oh, man, there's a lot of rad scorpions down there. Okay, let's run away. Hopefully, Ian can't shoot us like the other guy did to the, um... God, I am sounding like an idiot in these past two recordings. I know that, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why. My brain is just not able to say things intelligently. What I'm trying to say is, I, I guess I'm just involved with the game and really interested in how this game is playing out so far. But what I was trying to say was, um, hopefully Ian can't shoot us in the back like what happened to the guy in the command center, is what I'm saying. Okay, that rad scorpion is dead as well. So let's go ahead and loot him. They all seem to just have tails. Really wish... Yeah, okay, I'm going to stop taking the tails, because I assume the tails are not important. Now, let's go over here. We're not in combat, so we can freely just move as much as we want. And I don't know if we're looking for something specific. We've got more bones here. Here, let's move over here. Bones? Yeah, same thing. Okay, let's just move over here. I, I really don't think they would put the main quest item, like, in a hidden corner or something. I think we have a total of, like, four rad scorpions over here. So hopefully we have... Oh, we need to save. Holy crap, I need to remember keep saving the game yeah we're gonna try and deal with these guys and then we will end the episode try and get all of them hopefully okay i guess we just need to walk close enough and then combat starts all right now let's shoot this guy we can only get one shot off it seems it seems like ian is, is much stronger than we are wow he does a lot of damage oh we can level up look at that how do i do it though it says level there i don't know how Oh, am I running? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Stop. What are you doing? Yeah, we're out of combat. Um, I should be able to level up somehow. This switches weapons. I don't know why I did that. Um, inventory should not work right. Okay, what about skill decks? No. Uh, character? Is this how we level up? Perks? Karma? Skills? Maybe it's like the other games where uh, we have to wait like two wait we have 16 skill points okay let's put up small guns if we can how do i aha okay cool wow we got a lot of skill points why do we have so much all right here's how we're leveling up though cool okay so what do we want big guns no energy weapons no unarmed no melee weapons no throwing no first aid maybe doctor maybe sneak maybe lockpick probably steal no traps no science probably repair speech okay let's put small guns up to 75 and then let's put speech 
up some more as well. I think that's going to help us out quite a bit. Boom. And I think we'll just make a break for maxing out small guns. And I don't think... It doesn't seem like we can grab a perk anywhere, which is interesting because you would think they would give you a perk on the first level. But okay. All right, cool. So that's our first level up. Wow, we got a lot of skill points. Uh, because of skilled, right? That must be why. Oh, wait. What did we take? Gosh, you can see how confusing this is. We took gifted, not skilled. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. All right, now let's save the game once more and let's try and kill these few remaining rad scorpions and then hopefully that completes the quest. Okay, so we still have our gun out. All right, rad scorpions. There's a whole bunch of here and they're, they're probably going to all activate at the same time. Come on, I see you. Let's go. I don't know why I have to get so close. I feel like there is a, definitely a way where we don't have to do that. Wow, we don't deal any damage, but Ian does crazy damage. Rad Scorpion was killed. Nice. All right, so let's move over here and loot him. I don't like this sort of situation where you have to get close to walls to see everything. I That's so far like my biggest gripe with this game. I do not like how they have done that. This might be... No, there's, there's two more, including this one. All right, um, let's kill you. Let's run away. Let Ian take care of him because he's flat out destroying them. Okay, nice job, Ian. Okay, we missed. But Ian has taken him down yet again. Oh my gosh. What what do you what do you do if you don't even see Ian? You know, that's the thing about these old games, is like you could not even know Ian is recruitable. And then just you're you're dead. You lose so much DPS. Okay, I think we have one more Rad Scorpion. That's it. He's over here hiding in the corner because he knows the fury that are, that awaits him as I get hit. Oh, man. Okay, he's dealing a lot to me. All right, let's shoot him up close. We deal no damage, man. We deal, we deal six damage. We run away, and then Ian does six, and then he does seven right afterwards. And then he says, take this. He even gets a taunt. Ian, you are just... Man, you are carrying me, dude. I appreciate it. Okay. You gain 500 experience for stopping the Rad Scorpions. For defeating your enemies, you earn 110 experience. So we did it, it seems. We, we did the quest because we got bonus 500 experience. Uh, let's loot this guy. I would imagine we're probably close to another level up if that's the case. Either way, we're going to save this game here. Oh, man. All right. Well, I hope I didn't sound too stupid. I probably did. I hope I didn't sound ridiculous i just i couldn't like i'm just taking in this game and i'm really enjoying it so far like I, I that's what a lot of it is i'm just like enjoying it i'm enjoying killing these things we might change the difficulty back to normal if this is how easy it is because we did not really stand much of a chance to be killed there and this game i was like i'm probably gonna die three times within the first four episodes but no that's not the case so anyways yes everything from this the start of this cave moving forward will be completely blind, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what this game has in store for me. I know a few things about the plot, but that's it. Uh, very minor things. Um, we're in a good spot, obviously. We have Ian. I don't know how much ammo we have left, though. Like, I feel like we used a crazy amount of pistol ammo, but look at that. We still have... It says uh, 168, right? So, uh, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'm really getting into it. I can't wait to see how this series evolves. Uh, and just like I said, keep in mind, this is a learning process. This is going to be slow. I, I don't want to just spoil the game for myself and read a whole strategy guide. I just took down some tips to start with to make sure that it's not horrible to watch. Um, so, so keep in mind, the early episodes are going to be slow, and I hope you guys are cool with that. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.